Issue 68 Stormbringer Magazine The Oruk Mega Boss. Not just any normal boss, the Mega Boss. Hello and welcome to The Lucky Roll, an eclectic channel for eclectic games, and today we're looking at issue 68 of our continuing series of Hashek Collection's Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer magazine. Now this one comes with the Oruk Megaboss. Now this guy is a member of the Iron Jaws, and uh, one of the older orcs that you would see in the Warhammer Age of Sigmar fantasy series. Now um, again, they're very interesting creatures. We have one here ready, painted, we're going to have a look at them in a moment. But uh, these guys are all muscle. Whereas the Oruks we've seen up to now would have been kind of cunning and muscle. These guys are just muscle. The armor that they wear isn't smithed by a hammer. They literally beat them into shape with their fists. These guys are all muscle, all violence. And even for Oruk standards, they are a bit psychotic. Um, we have here the unsubtle tactics. So basically, they just uh, they line up, scream, roar, and charge, which... Uh, is more effective than you may think because they're quite big and scary and they're also fueled by war so the more they fight the bigger they grow and the tougher they get so if you have a really big war boss or a really big orc or oruk um, they are uh, they've been around a while and what's interesting here is the social graces so uh, because they have five fingers in the hand they can reliably count up to five so their section is always in counts of five uh, a nice cool little lore thing to kind of uh, add into it i didn't realize that till i read it but i thought a nice little touch you also have here again and i like this it's written from the perspective of a scholar in the age of sigmar just looking at the anatomy of the iron jaws and how they would differ from the uh, oruks that we would have gotten here earlier in the magazine now we have here some details about the orc megaboss and some of them would come on top of what are called maw crushes so Sometimes if they don't feel like walking, they'll ride a practical dragon into the battle. And it gives you some little aspects of the chosen tactics here. The build guide is relatively straightforward. It's just one mini, but also you have a fairly elaborate how to paint guide. Now there is a lot to painting this figure and because he's in a base of yellow, it's slightly more difficult than you would think. Um, yellow like white is not the easiest color to work with but again I'll talk about that when we look at the actual mini itself and you have the war scroll here for the orc mega boss and you have a war scroll tutorial in terms of the ear spitting bellow and that how he is dead fighty and that he gets strength from victory so that um, he gets he gets tougher the more he fights you have flame and fury with the worm hunt which is the actual the faction battle this time around and again now you finally have the third of the alliance of destruction factions in that you have a new hero to lead your troops into battle with now the mini itself is quite nice he's huge um you wouldn't think it but the base is actually massive so i mean if you have a vanquisher here you can see that it's a much bigger base and the vanquishers have big bases and the oruk mega boss himself is pretty class but the armor again i I don't know why, I just don't like the yellow color uh, scheme for this armor. Now, I copied it because that's basically what it is. But um, aside from having to give maybe two or three layers of Averland Sunset and maybe a, a kind of a, a an edge highlight of Uriel Yellow, um, I was very tempted to do kind of lead belcher highlight to kind of because give it a metallic look. But I said I'd stick with what should normally be done. I mean, I used an Incubi Darkness on the actual jaws with a little bit of um, either Lupercal Green or Skaven uh, Blight Dirge, a kind of a grey to kind of give a little bit of definition there as well. But still, a pretty big model. The jaw is comically huge, but again, he stands out as a result because of it. The skull on his shoulder is just class. I mean, it's a, a big, huge... Uh, maybe that might have been the Maw Crusher. That was his former mount that he just put him on his shoulder because he couldn't he wasn't alive anymore um, I just added one of the swords from the vanquishers to kind of decorate the base because he seems big and bold enough that he'd be easily able to kind of uh, beat normal fellas in battle and uh, again a cool model 
I'm not mad about the actual color scheme, but the great, the great thing about this hobby is it's up to you what way you want to paint them. If I was to do it again, I might choose a different scheme or something that suits me a little bit better. But nevertheless, that is the Oruk Mega Boss and the really cool mini that you get with issue 68 of Warhammer Age of Sigmar magazine. So as always, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, good luck. And this is Sean signing off.